blessings. Amen? Amen. Amen. We want to welcome those of you joining us online. You are a special part of our church, and we are so thankful for you. And welcome to those of you here in person. It's lovely to see your beautiful smiling faces. Oh, it's good. Amen? Well, stand with me as we worship the Lord.
it's good to praise the Lord. Amen. his arms to lean into.
Amen. Alice is going to come and pray, and I just want to invite you, if you'd like to come and kneel at the altars or make an altar there at home, it's always good to pray. Amen. Psalms 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Bolt out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sins are always before me. Against you, you and you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your eyes. So you are right in your vengeance and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, and sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in, in, that, sec- in that secret place. Mm-hmm. Our Heavenly Father, we just thank you for being with us before we were born, being with us as we were being born, and being in with us each and every day. Lord, as we come to you, we just want to praise your name. We want to shout, Hosanna. We yes. love you, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we ask you to just be in this congregation. Yes. Wash away our sins, each and every one, as you have daily, Lord. We just pray that you will just comfort us, guide us, direct us. And Lord, be with the ones that are not able to be here for whatever the reason is, whether it's sin, uh being sick or just being exhausted from the turmoil of this world we ask you lord just to be with with our presidents and our world what's going on lord is just undeceivable we just pray lord that you will just give comfort to those who need it Mm -hmm. and lord we ask you to be in this service today and be with our pastor as she presents the message and be with vincenti as he interprets We love you, Lord Jesus, and we just pray that you will just comfort each and every one of our hearts in this most precious time. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Alice. And at this time, we want to invite Sandy to come. She's going to share a children's message. So if our kids want to come and join Sandy up front. Love. Do you love your daddy, your mommy? How about sisters, family? Do you love your Aunt Alice, Uncle John? Yeah. Do you love your sister? Sometimes, right? Uh oh, she's got to think about that one, Ruth. We're in trouble here. She's easy to love. <laughs> she says, mm. She's not so sure about that one. Sometimes, right? Sisters are okay sometimes, right? <laughs> I think so. I have I have sisters too. But we want to say that we want to just remember how much God loves us all the time, and how we can talk to Him any time we feel lonely, sad, even more happy. We want to say thank you, right? We always want to say thank you, Jesus, and that we love Him, and that He loves us too, right? So do you know what this is? What's this? Is it the Bible? And in, in this Bible is so many verses that says how much that Jesus loves us. Every single day, every minute of the day, that Jesus loves us. And you know that there's a song that we could sing. You know, Jesus loves us. Jesus loves me. That the Bible tells us so. Can we sing it? We can all sing it with you. Can we sing it? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to them belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day that you've provided, Lord. Thank you for the love that you have for us every single day, every single minute, Lord. Mm. Thank you for the time we have together. Thank you for the, the, the special day that we have to just worship you. And I just pray for Pastor Kelly and the sermon and, and just uh, pray that we just absorb every word that she says into our daily lives. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. In your most precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Well, Merce and Vicente are coming to read the scripture right now. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's so true that Jesus does love us. When that really sinks in, it just, it transforms our lives, doesn't it? Yeah, some people think, oh, nobody loves me. Well, guess what? Jesus loves you. Amen. So we're in Acts chapter 19, starting with verse 1. Estamos en Hechos 19, vamos a empezar con el primer versículo. While Apollos was at Corinth, Paul took the road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There he found some disciples. Mientras Apolos estaba en Corinto, Pablo recorrió las regiones del interior y llegó a Efeso. Allí encontró algunos discípulos. He asked them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they answered, no, we've not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Y recibieron ustedes el Espíritu Santo cuando creyeron, les preguntó. No, ni siquiera hemos oído hablar del Espíritu Santo, respondieron. So Paul asked, then what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. Entonces, ¿qué bautismo recibieron? El bautismo de Juan. Paul said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is, in Jesus. Pablo les explicó, el bautismo... De Juan no era más que un bautismo de arrepentimiento. Él le decía al pueblo que creyera que, que creyera en él que venía después de él, es decir, en Jesús. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Al oír esto, fueron bautizados en el nombre del Señor Jesús. When Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Y habiéndoles impuesto Pablo las manos, vino sobre ellos el Espíritu Santo, y hablaban en lenguas y profetizaban. They were about twelve men in all. Eran un total unos doce hombres. Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly for three months, arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. Pablo entró en la sinagoga y habló allí con toda valentía durante tres meses. Discutía acerca del reino de Dios tratando de convencerlos. But some of them became obstinate. They refused to believe and publicly maligned the way. So Paul left them. He took the disciples with him and had discussions daily in the lecture hall of Tyrrhenius. Pero algunos se negaron obstinadamente a creer. Y ante la congregación hablaban mal del camino. Así que Pablo se alejó de ellos y formó un grupo aparte con los discípulos y a diario debatía en la escuela de Tirano. This went on for two years so that all the Jews and the Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. Esto continuó por espacio de dos años, de modo que todos los judíos y los griegos que vivían en la provincia de Asia llegaron a escuchar la palabra del Señor. This is the word of the Lord. Esta es la palabra del Señor. Thanks be to God and thank you. Yes, there is one road that leads to God. Solo hay un camino para llegar al Señor. And his name is Jesus. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> God has new roads for you to explore. Dios tiene para ti para new things for you to see. 
nuevas cosas para ti para que mires. And new people for you to reach. Y nueva gente para que tú al Did you notice the last time that Paul left Ephesus, he left by boat? But when he went back to Ephesus in verse 1, he took the interior road. It's kind of like our 10 friends who took a cruise to Hawaii and came back by airplane. Es como, es como si tuvieras 10 amigos que se van en, en un bote a Hawaii y regresan en avión. Right, there's different ways to get there. ¿Verdad? Es, 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 hay diferentes uh, caminos para llegar ahí. If you've ever gone on vacation with my parents, cuando yo estaba en vacaciones con mis parientes, you know that we never take the same road twice. Nunca agarramos el mismo camino dos veces. When we explored New Hampshire and Vermont, cuando estuve explorando New Hampshire y Vermont, we went on every road, almost every road. Fui por muchos caminos. Right, because there's new things to see. Sí, porque hay muchos caminos para, para descubrir, para And ver. New places to go. En nuevos lugares para ir. And new people to reach. Y nueva gente para alcanzar. Along the way. A, a lo largo del camino. There was a professor at seminary. Yo tenía un profesor en el seminario. Before my time. Antes de, de mi tiempo. And he was kind of the absent-minded professor. Like he, he wasn't clearly thinking. <laughs> he was brilliant. <laughs> But, mm, for example, he drove from Kansas City to Chicago. And he took an airplane home. Pero tomaba un avión para atrás. And he called his wife from the Kansas City airport and said, come pick me up. And she said, where is your car? Y ella le decía, ¿Dónde está tu carro? Well, it's in Chicago. Se quedó en Chicago. <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> right? <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> God has different places and people for us to reach. Dios tiene diferentes lugares y diferentes gentes para nosotros alcanzar. Do you tend to go to the same grocery store? ¿Tú has ido a la, a la misma tienda de, de, de comida? Maybe it's time to try a new grocery store. A lo mejor es tiempo de que intentes ir a otra tienda a comprar. Because there's new people to reach. Porque hay nueva gente que alcanzar. In verses 2 through 7, and asked them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believe? They answered, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Dice, recibieron ustedes el Espíritu Santo cuando creyeron, les preguntó, no, ni siquiera hemos oído hablar del Espíritu Santo, respondieron. So Paul asked, then what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. Entonces, ¿qué bautismo recibieron? El bautismo de Juan. Paul said John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is, in Jesus. Pablo les explicó, el bautismo de Juan no era más que un bautismo de arrepentimiento. Le decía al pueblo que creyera en él, que venía después de él. Es decir, en Jesús. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Al oír esto, fueron bautizados en el nombre del Señor Jesús. And when Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them and uh, they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Cuando Pablo les impuso las manos, el Espíritu Santo vino sobre ellos y empezaron a hablar en lenguas y a profetizar. There were about 12 men in all. Eran en total unos 12 hombres. So here's another point I want you to remember. Aquí está otro punto que quiero recordar. Receive all that God has for you. ¿Has recibido todo lo que Dios tiene para ti? You know, uh, yesterday, Ayer, uh, the Holy Spirit prompted George to pray for Jack and Roberta. El Espíritu Santo vino hacia, hacia Jorge que orara por, por, por 
And about 25 minutes later, he received my email that said, pray for Jack and Roberta. George didn't know that Jack was in the emergency room. But the Holy Spirit did. Pero el Espíritu Santo, sí. On Friday, el viernes, the Holy Spirit prompted me el Espíritu Santo vino hacia mí, to ask George to go see if maybe one of our, like our hose was left on. Because we had received a call from the water department that our, our water usage is way out of control. And I thought, oh, maybe one of our homeless took a little bath because there's a bar of soap there. <laughs> And George uh, didn't even think about the front hose. He went to the back hose. I had never even considered that we had a back hose. But George knew it was there. And he found what we think is the water leak coming up from under the ground. See, the Holy Spirit knows where the water leak is. The Holy Spirit knows just about everything. Really everything. Yeah, we don't know much. But the Holy Spirit knows everything. When I was on vacation, I had a strong dream. This wasn't because I ate too much popcorn before bed. Although I do love popcorn. This dream was my friend Melanie. She came to me and took me by both hands. And she said, please help my husband. He's going to burn out. And Phil is a pastor. And I've only seen them about three times in the last 20 years since seminary. Two days after my strong dream, Phil sent me a text message. And I thought that was really strange because Phil has never sent me a text message. We were friends before there was such a thing as text messaging. <laughs> and so on this past Monday when I got home, I texted Phil back and I told him about my dream and I asked him if he was on the verge of burnout. He said, how did you know? I said, that's the Holy Spirit. I said, do you take a day off every week? He said, no. I said, do you take your full vacation every year? He said, no. I said, when was your last sabbatical? He said, oh, eight years ago. I said, you're overdue. 
Le dije, tienes que seguirlo haciendo. I said, I want you to talk to your district superintendent and your church board today. Y, y dijo, voy a hablar con el superintendente del, 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 de miembros de la iglesia acerca de eso. And tell them you're on the verge of burnout and you need your vacation. Y les voy a decir que tú estás uh, uh, sintiéndote... Uh, Sí, como que te estás sintiendo débil cada día y, y, y voy a hablar acerca de eso. And he did. Y él lo hizo. And this Sunday someone else is preaching for him. Y ese, ese Sunday fue un, un día que él predicó. And he's going to take his vacation so that the Holy Spirit can fill him back up. Y se fue y tomó las vacaciones y el Espíritu Santo lo volvió a renovar. See, the Holy Spirit knows things we don't know. El Espíritu sabe cosas que nosotros no sabemos. And will help us to know how to pray for people. Y nos ayuda a nosotros a cómo orar por la demás gente. Notice in verse 4. No ignoremos en el verso 4. It talks about the one coming after John. Y les explicó del que venía después de, de Juan. Was Jesus. ¿A cuál era Jesús? You know there was one that came after Jesus. Y el que venía después de Jesús And that was the Holy Spirit. era el Espíritu Santo. And there's one coming after the Holy Spirit. Y el que viene después del Espíritu Santo And it's Jesus is coming again. es que Jesús viene otra vez. And then, y de ahí we are going to be with the Father. nosotros vamos a ir con el Padre And with the Son. y con el Hijo And with the Holy Spirit. y con el Espíritu Santo. So receive all that God has for you. Tienes que recibir todo lo que Dios tiene para ti. God has new roads for you to explore. Dios tiene nuevos caminos para ti para que explores. New things for you to see. Nuevas cosas para ti para que veas. And new people for you to reach. Y nueva gente para que tú la alcances. Verses 8 through 10. Versos 8 hasta el 10. Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months, arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. Pablo entró en la sinagoga y habló allí con toda valentía durante tres meses. But some of them became obstinate. They refused to believe and publicly maligned the way, so Paul left them. He took the disciples with him and had discussions daily in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. Pero algunos se negaron obstinadamente a creer, y ante la congregación hablaban mal del camino. Así que Pablo se alejó de ellos y formó un grupo aparte con los discípulos y a diario debatía en la escuela de Tirano. This went on for two years so that all the Jews and Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. Esto continuó por espacio de dos años, de modo que todos los judíos y los griegos que vivían en la provincia de Asia llegaron a escuchar la palabra del Señor. You know, sometimes we focus on the ones who don't believe instead of the ones who do believe. Muchas veces nosotros nos enfocamos en la gente que no cree y dejamos de desenfocarnos en la gente que cree. You know, we've got someone who has faithfully watched us online for three or four years. Y a veces dejamos de ver nosotros lo, 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 lo que verdaderamente dejamos, debemos creer por algunos años. Her name is Kelly. Su nombre es, es Kelly. <laughs> What a great name. Qué grande nombre. And it's Nicole's mother. Es un, una madre. And now her sister Joyce has started watching us. Hello. Y también su hermana Joyce nos está mirando. And we love you guys. Los amamos, amigos. And we love what God is doing in your lives. Y amamos también lo que Dios está haciendo en sus vidas. Even though you're facing extremely hard challenges. Y uh, aunque nos extremadamente de, de, nos vemos con... con esos talentos. The Lord is with you. El Señor está con ustedes. And he's helping you. Y les está ayudando. Each and every day. Cada, cada uno de ustedes, cada día. 
And last week, I don't know if you saw. No sé si la, la, la semana pasada ustedes vieron. At the end of the service, Julian came in. En, al final del servicio, Julian entró por esa puerta. And I asked, if you trust Jesus, would you raise your hand? Y le dijimos, si tú confías en Jesús, levanta tu, tu mano. And Julian raised his hand. Y Julian levantó su mano. And then after church he asked for prayer. Y después de que acabó todo el servicio él preguntó por oración. And Vicente and Ruth ministered to him. Y Vicente y Ruth este, le hicieron ministerio. And we prayed for him. Y oramos por él. Because God was working in his life. Porque Dios está trabajando en su vida. And the Holy Spirit brought him here. Y el Espíritu Santo lo trajo a él aquí. He's from Chile. Él es de, de, de Chile. And he only speaks Spanish, no English. Y nomás habla español, no entiende inglés, no habla inglés. And he's been looking for a church that speaks Spanish. Y él está buscando una iglesia de habla hispana. For three years. Por tres años. And he found us. Y él le encontró. And we're praying Julian comes back. Y estamos orando por Julián para que regrese para atrás. And then there's Sarah. Y de ahí, ahí está, tenemos a Sara. With no H. <laughs> con no edad. That's how she introduced herself. <laughs> Así es como se introduce ella. Hi, I'm Sarah with no H. <laughs> Dice, hola, soy Sara, no, no tengo edad. <laughs> And Sarah is growing in her walk with Jesus. Y Sara está creciendo en el camino, en el, su caminar con Jesús. And her life is changing. Y su vida está cambiando. And she's in a difficult situation. Aunque ella está en una di, di, situación muy dificultosa. With difficult circumstances. Con circunstancias dificultosas. And her mother does not believe in God. Y su mamá así aún no cree, no cree en Dios. And there's lots of cussing at their house. Y eh, está pasando muchas cosas en su casa. But Sarah is changing before our very eyes. Pero Sara está cambiando y lo vemos ante nuestros ojos. And she's growing in her walk with Jesus. Y ella está creciendo en su caminar con Jesús. And Alice asked her, what do you do in your spare time? Y Alice le pregunta, ¿qué haces en tu tiempo, de tiempo espiritual? And she said, I, I listen to the Bible on CD. Y ella dice, yo uh, uh, escucho la Biblia en, en, en audio. And I follow along in my Bible that Merce got me. Y la sigo en, en versículo por versículo en la Biblia. Isn't that awesome? No es eh, muy, muy maravilloso. See, sometimes we focus on the people who reject God. Algunas veces nos enfocamos en la gente It, que deja de reflejar a Dios. Instead of the people who are growing in the Lord. Y, y dejamos a un lado la gente que está creciendo en el Señor. You know, Paul, what he did with the people who rejected God. Fue lo que hizo Pablo dejar de, de enfocarse en la gente que no quería nada con el Señor. He made a boundary. Él, él bajó la bandera. And he left them. Y los dejó. Because he took his time and he invested in the 12 disciples who were excited about Jesus. Y él decidió mejor invertir su tiempo en esos 12 discípulos que querían crecer y conocer a Jesús. And that's where we need to invest our time in the people who are excited to know about Jesus. Y eso es lo que deberíamos hacer nosotros, invertir ese tiempo en la gente que quiere conocer al Señor Jesús. You know, I used to dream about what it would be like to win every person in my junior high school to Jesus. Yo tuve un sueño, ¿cómo sería alcanzar a cada uno de los jóvenes que estaban en high school? And I thought, how do I do that? Y me pregunté, ¿cómo yo haría eso? I don't know how to do that. No sé cómo lo haría eso. But Holy Spirit, you know how to do that. Pero el Espíritu Santo sabe cómo hacer eso. And so I asked the Holy Spirit, what do I do? Y le pregunté al Espíritu Santo, ¿qué debo hacer? He said, why don't you go care about this girl over here named Melissa? Y me dijo, ¿por qué no te preocupas mejor por esta, esta muchacha que se llama Melissa? And Melissa and I became friends. Y yo y Melissa vinimos a ser amigas. And I went and spent the night at her house. Y fui y a, a, a hacer una noche con ella. And I discovered her parents were heavy drinkers. Y descubrí algo que sus papás eran unos uh, alcohólicos uh, empedernidos. And I felt very sad for Melissa. Y yo sentí muy, muy, muy triste por Melissa. And I had her to my house. Y le invité a ella ahora a mi casa. And my parents don't drink at all. Pero mis parientes no, era todo lo contrario, no tomaban nada. And we're in a happy, godly house. 
y era una casa muy feliz de Dios. And Melissa saw the difference. Y Melissa miró la diferencia. And she said, I don't get it. What, what's so different about you? Y, y, y ella notó y me dijo, no, no, no lo logro en, entender qué hay de diferente entre yo y tú. And I said, well, can I talk to you during lunch time in our school library? Y le dije, ¿te puedo hablar en, en, el, en, el, en el lunch que tenemos en la escuela, en la librería? So I would like to tell you. Tengo algo que decirte. What the difference is. Te quiero mostrar allí decir la diferencia que hay entre yo y tú. And we sat down. Y fuimos allí y nos sentamos. And we talked and I told her all about Jesus. Y nos sentamos y yo le expliqué todo acerca de Jesús. How Jesus is God. Que Jesús es Dios. And Jesus is the Son of God. Que, Jes que Jesús es el Hijo de Dios. And he died on a cross for her. Que él murió en la cruz por ella. To take away all of her sins. Y tomó todos sus pecados. And we just have to receive him and believe that y, he is Lord. Y que ella tenía que, que eh, arrepentirse y recibirle y creer que él es el Señor. And right there in that school library. Y allí en esa eh, eh, escuela, allí en, en esa librería de la escuela. Melissa prayed to receive Jesus into her heart. Melissa recibió al Señor Jesucristo en su corazón. See, it all starts with one. Y todo comenzó con una. One person can con, change everything. Con una persona se puede cambiar todo. Jesus did. Jesús lo hizo. Do you know there's 2.5 billion Christians in the world? Hay 2.5 uh, billones de cristianos en el mundo. Do you know that if every Christian shared the gospel with 3.2 people? Si esto se compara y cada cristiano compartiera el mensaje con 2.3 personas, all 8 billion people in the world would know Jesus. Todos los 8 millones de seres humanos que hay en el mundo conocerían a Jesús. All we need to do is share our, the gospel with 3.2 people. <laughs> Lo único que debemos de hacer es compartir el evangelio con 2.3 uh, uh, personas. Who are three people in your neighborhood? ¿Quiénes son esas tres personas en tu barrio? You know, this week our district sent out a free app to us called Bless Every Home. Esta semana el... el, el el director de, de los ministerios nos uh, mandó un app donde podemos descubrir a las personas de nuestro uh, uh, barrio. And on a map it shows names and addresses of all of our neighbors. Y en el mapa nos salen todos los nombres este, de nuestros vecinos uh, con sus direcciones. And it even gives us a prayer to help pray over them scripture. Y ahí nos manda una escritura y, y para que oremos con esa escritura oremos por ellos. And they're trying to help us to first of all pray. Y, y eso nos ayuda y la primera cosa es orar. And then find ways to care. Y encontrar caminos para da darles cuidado. And then share. Y de ahí compartir. And then disciple. Y hacer discípulos. And at, this week I signed up for that app from the church address. Esta semana eh, firmé para que eh, tengamos allí los miembros de la iglesia esas direcciones. And I prayed for five people from five homes that the names it gave me. Y oré por cinco personas, por cinco casas que viven cerca de mí. And I saw a woman with her walker walking just down the block. Y miré un, a, una, a una señora que sale con su... Con su Andadera de caminar que vive aquí un, una calle atrás. And I knew her name. Y ya conocí su nombre. Because I had just prayed for her. Y estoy llorando por ella. You know, if I hadn't have prayed for her. Si, si te imaginas si no orara yo por ella. I'm not sure I would have even seen her. Nunca la hubiera yo visto a ella. But prayer helps makes, make us aware of the people right in front of us. Pero la oración nos hace nosotros de, de, despertar para ver a la gente que vive alrededor de nosotros. This year, one of the goals of USA Canada. 
en este tiempo uno de las metas de Estados Unidos y Canadá and one of the goals of our church y, y es una de las metas también de la iglesia is blessing our community es bendecir a nuestra comunidad it's finding ways to care for people es encontrar caminos para, para cómo tener cuidado más de cerca esas personas and so we've made a lot of chocolate covered pretzel sticks y hicimos nosotros uh, uh, de muchas maneras de esos uh, palitos con chocolate With colorful sprinkles. Y, y los cubrimos de, 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 de chispitas de colores And who doesn't love sprinkles? y hay mucha gente que no, no les gustan los, esas chispitas de colores yeah, I like sprinkles. Do you like sprinkles? a mí me gustan los sprinkles a, a mí, a mí. No? <laughs> ok <laughs> So more to share with others, not Vicente, okay. <laughs> But we've taken some to the bank. Y tomé algunos hacia el banco. Af after they were robbed. Después que lo habían robado. And we took some to the police officers. Y llevé también unos a la estación de policía. And we have more to take to other people. Y tenía más para compartir con otras personas. We just want people to know that Jesus loves them. Y la gente tiene que conocer que Jesús los ama. What are simple things we can do to help our neighbors to know that Jesus loves them? Son muy simples cosas que debemos hacer para darles a entender a la gente o en, enseñarles que Jesús los ama. You may be the only Jesus that people see. Tú no eres la única persona que, que Jesús ve. Here's another point. Aquí está otro punto. Preach until everyone hears. La predicación hace que todos escu escuchemos. Paul preached until the whole country of Asia heard the gospel. Pablo predicó en toda la, la, la ciudad de Asia y el, el evangelio se expandió. In verse 10 it says that all the Jews and Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. En el verso 10 dice que todos los 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 gente de, de Asia escucharon la palabra del Señor. What would it look like for all of Lincoln City to hear the word of the Lord? ¿Cómo nos parece eso si toda la gente de Lincoln City escuchara la palabra del Señor? What would it look like for all of Oregon to hear the word of the Lord? ¿Cómo se miraría si todo Oregon escuchara la palabra del Señor? What would it look like for all of the world to hear the word of the Lord? ¿Cómo se miraría o cómo sería si todo el mundo escuchara la palabra del Señor? It's just sharing with three point two people. Eso es compartiendo nada más con dos punto tres personas. So who's the first one? ¿Quién es la primera? Ask the Holy Spirit to Pregun show you. Pregúntale al Espíritu Santo que te muestre. Maybe a girl named Melissa. A lo mejor su, uh, 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 el nombre de una muchacha que se llama Melissa. Who's your Melissa? ¿Quién es tu Melissa? Hmm. Preach until everyone hears. Hay que predicar para que todos escuchen. So here's the points again. Aquí está otro punto otra vez. God has new roads for you to explore. Dios tiene nuevos caminos para ti para que los explores. New things for you to see. Nuevas cosas para que tú veas. And new people for you to reach. Y nueva gente para que tú lo alcances. Receive all that God has for you. Recibe todo lo que Dios tiene para ti. And then preach until everyone hears. Y predica para que todos aquellos que te rodean escuchen. Because there's only one road that leads to God. Porque nomás hay un camino para ir a la presencia de Dios. And his name is Jesus. Y su nombre es Jesús. Amen. 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 Maybe you're watching online today. A, a, a lo mejor, mu, tal vez muchos nos escucharon en, en línea hoy. And you've never received Jesus into your heart. Y nunca has recibido a Jesús en tu corazón. Today could be the day where you make Jesus the Lord and leader and Savior of your life. Hoy puede ser el día que puedes recibir al Señor como tu Señor y Salvador y líder en tu vida. We're going to pray. Vamos a orar. I invite you to join me. 
y los vamos a invitar a que disfruten con nosotros. Jesus, we ask you to forgive all of our sins. Jesús, te pedimos que perdones todos nuestros pecados. We ask you to come into our hearts and rule and reign in our lives. Pedimos que vengas a nuestros corazones, a nuestras vidas. We ask you to be the Lord and leader and savior of our lives. Te pedimos que vengas a ser nuestro Señor y Salvador y líder de nuestras vidas. Holy Spirit, would you fill us afresh and anew? Espíritu Santo, llénanos con ese aire fresco que renueva. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Y te damos uh, la gloria y la honra en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. 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 And please, if you've, if you've received Jesus into your heart, would you let us know? Because we would like to light a candle to honor you and to remember that Jesus is the light in your heart. Si recibiste a Jesús con esta oración y todo, déjanos saber. Queremos prender una vela para recordar y tener en oración siempre eso. Amen. Are you receiving all that God has for you today? Recibieron todo lo que Dios tiene para ustedes hoy. Because he wants to teach you new things. El Señor quiere enseñarte nuevas cosas. Just like Paul went back to Ephesus. Así como Pablo regresó para atrás a, a Éfeso. And he found 12 new people who y, were eager to hear. Y encontró otras nuevas 12 personas que tenían ganas de oír. Wow. Would you stand with me if you can? Puedes pararte si tú quieres. Son tus tres. It just starts with one. Empieza por uno. Just love them. Amalo. As Jesus would. Como Jesús nos amó, como él lo hizo. Hmm. Amen. Amen. 
I love you all. Los amo a todos. I pray for you. Estoy llorando por ti. And I do it sí, regularly. No Cada día. <laughs> and God is good. Y Dios es bueno. And God answers prayer. Y Dios contesta las oraciones. He is faithful. Él es fiel. And now let's go be faithful to God and go love somebody. <laughs> y nosotros tenemos que ser fieles con Dios en amar a alguien más. To Jesus, amen. amen. Jesus, amen. I love you all. Los amo a todos.